Hey y'all, it's Crazy Dree. <clears throat> Crazy Dree. Ba dum bum. It's Crazy G here with another video. And today I wanted to do that ride or die tag. I'm not sure if that's what it's called or like if my place burned down and I was to repurchase some makeup these are the things I would purchase or if I take them to a deserted island or something like that but anyway I have some stuff here that I'd absolutely have to have in order to do my face and I guess we'll just get into it it's my cat anyway if you'd like to subscribe I'd really appreciate it um, and support me and for those who are here again thank you for watching my stuff I really really appreciate it so I guess we'll start with primers and those who have been with me for this short period of time that I've been making some videos know that the hourglass mineral veil is that's my jam like I have it on today and I've been wearing this makeup since seven o'clock last night and I don't think it's that bad even though I went way overboard on my pink blush. <laughs> way overboard. That is my primer, my face primer. My eye primer is the, um, the MAC Paint Pot. I have so much stuff in front of me, like I don't even know what happened to it. Because it was just, oh, here it is, here it is. MAC Paint Pot in Painterly is what I use. I also have um, the ochre one, but I haven't busted into that one yet because these last forever, forever. But that's my favorite primer. That's the one I reach for the most. So I'm thinking that's what I'd take. And if you haven't noticed, I have been seriously into cool tones lately. Like I really dig cool tones lately. I don't know, like this dead girl lip, nice a foundation Josie Moran Var vibrancy foundation if I want flawless for about eight to ten hours if I want flawless for 15 hours the bye bye foundation from it cosmetics both of these foundations are kind of dewy but I'm dry girl, so that's what I go for. Matte, I can't do a matte foundation. It just looks awful on my skin. So these are my two favorites. Absolutely, I would absolutely repurchase them. No doubt about it. Powders, I guess we'll just do it in order. Cover FX, um, the perfect setting powder to set my face. To set my concealer, I like, I've been liking the RMS Beauty Unpowder. This is pretty pretty good. I was using the By Terry, which I do like, but I ran out. Well, I have like a the tiniest bit left. I'm like saving it for a special occasion. But I got this and this is not made with a bunch of stuff. I think it's just silica and so there's nothing else in it and it's been pretty good. It's not making my under eyes look a hot mess, so you know, that's always good <laughs> since I'm dry. My touch-up powder, I always, MAC Mineralize Skin Finish is my jam. And the powder that I use to buff with is the Hourglass Ethereal Light. And I'm hitting pan on this. Like, and this is the big, big boy. This isn't no little tiny one. I'm hitting pan on it. And I'm afraid to hit pan on this because these are not cheap. But it's beautiful. It just gives you like, it's called ethereal light. Like it's ethereal on, and it's for fair skin. Like I have the other colors. I have some other colors. That's my favorite. It just is, you can't even really see it, but it does something. It's like a filter over your face. It's beautiful. Like uh, hourglass is expensive, but when you find the product that works for you, absolutely is worth it absolutely um a, a balm a lip balm or lip treatment actually i would think this is i have the actual two but this is the bullet form the bite agave lip balm this saves my lips a hundred times over again i'm not a gloss person i'm not a traditional lipstick person i do like matte or long-lasting lipsticks that tend to get dry 
I don't ever, ever experience dryness unless I got a crap lipstick. Makeup monsters. Not saying anything. Um, mascara is eyeliner. Um, I don't wear lashes all that much, only to like special occasions I'll wear lashes because they just take me forever to put them on. But I always first go in with my It Cosmetics Tight Line, then top it off with the Hello Lashes from It Cosmetics. These two, I don't know what they, they make my lashes grow because I have been using this for over a year now and my lashes, like, my lashes get in the way when I try and do my eyeliner. That's how I knew my lashes were growing. So their claim on this is for real. And then the third mascara that I use is usually just to fluff them a little bit more. So I've been using the Ciate Wonder Wand. This is a pretty good mascara. Um, before that I was using Dior Show Iconic. That's a good mascara. So my third mascara for layering, I just need a third one. I don't know because I'm crazy. Maybe that's it. I'm just crazy. It's all in my head. Um, I like glitter. And the easiest way for me to get glitter is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitters. I have them all. I would absolutely repurchase these again. I would take them with me because they're just so easy. You can put them on the lid. You can put them in a corner. You can line. You can do whatever you want with these. These are so creative and so easy. Of course, if you put them on your lids, let your lids dry before you open them. I've done that before because I was rushing. Not a good look. Not a good look. And they're a pain in the butt to get off if you mess up. But I love them. They're just easy. And this one's distortion. It's like, where am I going? It's like so pretty. It's like multicolored. I don't even know. Will that focus on there? I don't know. But they're beautiful. Any, if I was to not have any makeup and I needed to repurchase makeup the lipsticks I would go for believe it or not are the ColourPop ultra satin lips I pretty much have all maybe 90% of all the colors they have these ultra satins are my ultimate lip formula I really believe they're just like the Kylie Jenner's velvet lips uh, it's a conspiracy but I really do think that they're the same products <laughs> The ColourPop Ultra Satin Lips, they stay on forever. You can wear bold colors like this. They don't feather. They don't come off. They're comfortable. You're not sacrificing comfort for the color that you want. They have a million shades. I'll buy them all. I love the Ultra Satins. Probably my favorite liquid lipstick. And I'm not sacrificing for comfort. I'm not sacrificing anything. I have everything in that lipstick that I want. So, yeah. My brow products, I do the same thing all the time. I use the ColourPop Pencil and Dope Taupe. These things are great. They're cheap. And then I use the Ulta Brow. I'm looking in the wrong place again. The Ulta Brow Tint. And then I go over it with the Control Freak from NYX. They're great products. Um, can't go wrong. My eyeliners, absolutely. The ColourPop Gel Liners. They're the only thing that stays in my waterline. Absolutely. I would 100 I think I have every color. I just got a yellow one. What I'll ever use a yellow liner for, but I had to have it. I had to have it. The concealer, Urban Decay Naked. I like Shape Tape, and there's other concealers that I like, but I like the formula on this. It's easy to blend out. It's creamy. It doesn't get cakey. It, it's just a beautiful formula, and, and at first I wasn't sure about this, but I like it more and more every day, so I would absolutely repurchase Naked. My liner, NYX Epic Liner. This is comparable to the Kat Von D. It doesn't bleed. It doesn't fade. It's an excellent liner. Because I have hooded eyes, I need a glitter glue. So some of my shimmers I do use glitter glues with just to keep things in place because I have hooded eyes. And I like to use the liquid sugar from Eye Candy. It's just like a clear. And I would dab it on my finger and just dab a little bit on my lid and voila. Like, it's done. Like, my shimmer stays there all night and I'm cool with that. It was hard for me to pick a blush really hard. So I went with the Lorac Pirate of the Caribbean cheek palette because 
it has my blush and my bronzer in it and it's the most used you can see that I really 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 love this formula I love this and this is the only Lorac face palette that I have or any cheek products that I have it's a beautiful formula now these highlighters aren't as popping as I would like personally but they are nice and I love this blush and this I can absolutely use as my bronzer so this is what I would repurchase if I needed to repurchase or I'm hoping my house and place don't burn down I'm really hoping because I don't I don't wish that on myself or anybody but a highlighter palette that I think I would repurchase over all the highlights that I have I went through my drawer thinking about this what would I what would I really need and I just thought versatile and this is a Sephora illumination palette and it has every color that I like the pinks a gold a champagne a white like I can't go wrong with this so and it's a nice texture it sits on the skin nice it's just a nice formula and for a fair person I pretty w much wouldn't wear this bronze color but it could be an eyeshadow but then again I have a palette that I have quickly fallen in love with and then if anything should ever happen this is the palette that I would take because I know I could do so many 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 looks with this palette that I <sighs> the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette like oh my god oh my god oh my god like I have been playing with this all week I, I did a cool tone look a neutral look a, a warm look you can do anything and these colors are blendable they're bright they're bold they're everything you would want them to be like this is an all-around solid solid palette and it's not expensive I, I very impressed very impressed very impressed um, my setting spray Milani make it last because there's nothing that holds better I have Urban Decay and I like it and it does hold on to my makeup but I feel like this does a little better and the Mario Badesco and the reason why I would keep this is because this doesn't have glycerin in it like the Max, MAC Fix Plus does this doesn't have glycerin in it so you can layer makeup with this without it being cakey and between layers put this stuff on instead of the MAC Fix Plus because you use too much of that stuff you're gonna get cakey because it's thick but this is hydrating in a different way and I really really enjoy it and um, another part of my base has been lately the Urban Decay uh, Rehab Makeup Prep but yeah these are the things that I would take with me or I would repurchase if anything should happen and I didn't have a makeup collection again these are the very first items that I would absolutely say I need I need to do it now I need to go now right this minute absolutely absolutely would repurchase and of course I you know brushes I guess I would pick up some damn brushes <laughs> but you know that's my story and I'm sticking to it mm. so what would you bring what are your items like what is it that have got your heart what makes you happy what products are the ones that you know that you need to do your look or that you use every day that when you pick it up like I looked at my stuff and I said what makes me happy what brings me joy what is and a lot of the palettes that I looked at in my collection I'm like they don't they don't do it it's not enough like if I have this palette I don't have this color if I have this palette then I don't this Jaclyn Hill palette has everything that I would ever need to do my eye makeup so yeah that's my deal man anyway please subscribe if you're not already and thank you for everybody who has supported me already it's been a, it's been a rough road I'm trying I'm working on things you know so I'll let you go for now y'all have a good day you take care now bye